got inspiration. That's you know what we talked about in the beginning. It could be a, a feeling or a person or a, an event, or it could be just work. Non-inspiration. Somehow you have to turn that into a musical idea, okay? And that could be like a melody or a chord progression, uh, some a beat, okay? Uh, a tempo, something musical, all right? Once you've established that, you've got to try to put that into into your uh, production software, so whatever that might be. And um, you've got to make it sound cool somehow, or, 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 you know, a lot of times I say, well, it doesn't really matter what sound you use, and it's true. You could, you could start by just using a very plain and simple sound, like a piano sound, and just to get the musical idea out. And you've got to, you've got to, um, uh, distinguish between like the musical idea and then the like the sound design and those are two separate things like you could write a melody on any instrument and then later on you can transform it into you know you can put the sound on there and, and that's a, to me that's a different step okay so I might come up with a chord progression and a melody and a bass line just on the piano but then when I transform it when I when I produce the full song, I'll change all the sounds. And that's totally fine. I mean, a lot of people do that. All right, so that's over here, the production, sound design, adding effects, you know, like just shaping the sound um, and, sh and shaping those musical ideas. Um, then we have the arrangement. So the arrangement is equally important. That's like you have a really, 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 really cool four bar loop. All right, but at the end of the day, it's still just a four bar loop. How do you make that into, turn that into a four bar, a four minute song? All right, so that's where n knowing about arrangement comes into play. And, um, and that's just a technique. And we're, we're gonna talk about those techniques, how to turn that loop into a, a full arrangement. And then hopefully after that, you have your finished song and, you, and you're happy. Any, any questions so far? Do you guys kind of, any of you have this kind of a workflow or this kind of a process that you maybe think about or have come across when you write songs? Yeah. I think uh, arrangement and production might differ based on who's doing it, but I kind of deal with arrangement before I deal with any like sound design or effects, but That's a really good point. Yeah, and and yeah. So the actual uh, um, like order of these processes or or positions can be totally different. So like yeah, like Ross was saying, you might start with the arrangement or the musical idea going into the arrangement and then do the production part last. All right, there's no particular order, but. All of those stages need to be kind of addressed at some point. 343 Labs is an electronic music school and community in downtown Manhattan. We offer courses for all levels of learning electronic music production, with course topics including Ableton Live, Logic, Synthesis for Music Producers, Songwriting and Music Theory, and more. To learn more about 343 Labs, head to 343labs.com. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more tutorials with our instructors, master classes, and content from our electronic music community.